Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 5, subject EVS, lesson 9, food, essence of life, part 1. Now, here in this lesson, please take, go to page number 111. I will read out and explain it to you. If there is something to write, you can write it down in the textbook itself. Okay, the first three lines that is given in your textbook in page number 111 is about a Tripadi written by Kavi Sarvagna. Observe the Tripadi of Kavi Sarvagna. In the second line, he says not to eat stale food mixing with the fresh food. Why does he say so? Think, write your answer here. Why? Because if the stale food would have lost its nutritional value that is why we should not eat the stale food if you are storing it for a very long time so you will write down as stale food loses its nutritional value yes this line refers to the food which we eat food is essence of our life as the chapter says food essence of life food itself is the essence of all our lives every day we do one or the other work we need energy for doing work we get energy from the food we eat right whatever energy we get we have we always get it from the food itself food that we eat so we have to eat healthy food and good food what is there in the food we eat how should we how should our food be this unit contains some information about it. Read and understand them. You already know that. So the carbohydrates option will be ragi, wheat, jova, foxtail millets, little millets, bread, honey. Option one. Lipids. Lipids is nothing but fat. It is more in ground nuts, meat, fish, dry coconut sesame egg yolk two protein vegetable uh, proteins is more in the last option cow beans red gram black eyed beans milk green milk green gram soya bean Min uh, next is vitamins right so vitamins fenugreek the first option or mentia carrot sprouted seeds fish oil green yellow vegetables then minerals fifth option is the minerals minerals is more in vegetables fruits lemons cereals water last option is more in cucumber watermelon grapes radish ash guard brinjal cabbage cauliflower so the options you are going to write as 4 1 2 5 6 and 3 you have matched the nutrients and their suitable food materials haven't you these nutrients are helpful for our growth repair bodybuilding and for being healthy now observe the table for for following food materials the options given are paddy foxtail millets meat pearl millets mango cheese ragi ghee egg cauliflower milk fenugreek seeds carrots buttermilk radish now there is one uh, activity given in page number 113 do this classify the food materials given above Write them in the table given below. Food materials from the plant sources. The options, the correct answers are given on your screen. I will read it out for you and please write down in your textbooks. Paddy, foxtail millets, pearl millet, mango, ragi, cauliflower, fenugreek seeds, carrots, radish. Then here is the picture of the foxtail millets and pearl millets, which you might be hearing it for the first time. Okay. Then food materials from animal sources. Meat, pearl millet, sorry, cheese, 
ghee, egg, milk, buttermilk. I hope you did all the exercises. Now, these materials are available for us from plant sources and animal sources. The food substances from the plant sources are classified as follows. Cereals, pulses, oil seeds, vegetables, green leafy vegetables, fruits. Now, here in page number 114, I request you to do this exercise on your own. Okay. I'll read it out for you how to do it. Then you have to do it on your own. Okay. The list of some food materials obtained from plant sources is given. Observe. Mango, brinjal, sesame, green gram, foxtail millets, amarantha, palak, groundnut, lemon, beetroot, fenugreek seeds, mentia, sunflower seeds, sweet potato, red gram, jova, black gram, orange, little millets. Write the food materials in the given in the above uh, given above in the related petal of the plant source. Now here um, plant source is given different kinds of um, ma materials are given right on the top in the box. So you will write for uh, if you take an example of oil seeds, which are the seeds which give out oil like sunflower seeds and groundnut seeds like that you have to write in the petals related to oil seeds you'll find out and you will write on your own then page number 115 millets millets means the food we eat consists of more than one nutrient okay among them millets like foxtail millets branyard millets Kodo millets are the barn of the nutrients. Barn of nutrients millets contain large amount of nutrients. Our elders used to consume more of millets. Nowadays, the consumption of these cereals, which are considered to be healthy, is reducing. Now, the important millets given on your screen also, it is given in your uh, uh, textbook in page number 115. Jover, pearl millets, brown top millets, little millets, ragi, kodo millet, proso millet, foxtail millets, barnyard millet. Now uh, you just uh, in the activity given list out the millets shown in the picture. You just have to write the millets that are given there on your uh, options given in that activity. Next is of millets what are the different uses of millets millets can be grown using less water and less period of time okay it, it takes very less period of time and you can grow it very fast they grow easily in different environment and climatic conditions they don't particularly need that kind of environment or climatic conditions in any kind of climatic conditions also they have the capacity to grow these can be grown without using chemical fertilizer, pesticides or herbicides. These are the chemicals that are used for plants to grow well. So chemical fertilizers means helps the plants to grow well. Pesticides kills the pests. Herbicides doesn't allow the herbs, uh, the unwanted herbs to grow in the field. They are called the friends or famine famine means when there is uh, no rain at all that kind of condition is called a famine so these are called the friends of famine that means it can grow in the extreme conditions also these cereals have a lot of nutrients they have a lot of good nutrients which are required by our body okay so i hope you understood the lesson till here the next is availability of food and uh, the other things we will uh, cover it in the next video so stay at home stay safe take care of yourself and keep learning children thank you and i hope you will do the exercise that i have asked you to do in this video